for me to put a feature on a fighter so far for this Bellator 275 card, Josh, I got to go with the UFC veteran, Brett the Pikey Johns. He's 17-3 and three overall. He's a seasoned veteran with more than a decade of experience in the cage as opposed to just 2017, I believe, with his, uh, with his opponent, Joe Soto. Or excuse me, not, not Joe Soto. Uh, Joe Soto is who Johns pulled off the calf slicer against mm-hmm. in the UFC. But that, that, again, it goes back to that time there. It's not like he was a washout or a cut from the UFC. He went 5-2 and two while he was underneath the three-letter banner. He just fought out the remainder of his contract and then decided to go test the free agency waters. Yeah, he Like I say, with that being said, he cashed out. He didn't have a successful Bellator debut, but he also fought a streaking prospect in Danny Sabatello. He's going to be taking on a Tajikistani power puncher in Kurshed Kakarov. Kakarov is 8-0 with six finishes by KO and TKO, who has found a couple of those finishes late in the third round. I have no idea what the quality of the competition of Kakarov has faced over there on some of those German local shows. But nonetheless, I mean, finishes are finishes. But circling right back to John's. He's been in there and mixed it up with the likes of the current UFC champ in Aljo Sterling. He's banged it out with Pedro Munoz, and he also beat the rising prospect in the UFC in Montel Quick Jackson. So I personally, I like John's in this matchup. That's a good matchup, and uh, I personally like John's as well with that one. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe button. That helps us continue to produce this original MMA content and bring it for you every single week. Tune in to the MMA plug presented by DenverSportsBetting.com on 98.1 FM, Mile High Sports Radio on Wednesday nights from 6 to 7 p.m. 